access. It's the place where you can waste your time on the internet. Welcome to the club. but I'm sure it'll be good for him to be home. We're getting a little bit more video uh, now as uh, the crew continues to be extracted. Now seeing Yvonne Wagner, this again coming from uh, Roscosmos. Uh, looks like we've got two of the three crew members out now and we'll keep watching for uh, Anatoly Venetian, who should be up next. You can see a few of the NASA personnel who are gathered out at the landing site. Uh, all of these... Uh, Groups will be making their way back to uh, Rob Navius and uh, uh, meeting them. And, and Jessica's gone, as he mentioned a moment ago. And there is an Antoli Evanition as well out of the capsule. All the crew members looking good. As you can see, as uh, as Rob mentioned, all the people who are meeting them there wearing masks to help protect them, an additional layer of protection, and uh, beyond uh, the quarantine that uh, these these uh, members of the landing team would have gone through as well. Uh, a phone call back to home and now on his way to the tent as well. Crew members are uh, are carried in the chairs just to be extra safe and prevent any possibility of a, a trip as they are experiencing gravity again for the first time in 196 days. of the Expedition 63 crew. With that 196 days added to his total, Chris Casti has now spent 378 days in space over the course of three missions. That puts him number at number five on the list of time spent in space for U.S. astronauts. Anatoly Evanition, meanwhile, uh, also having made three journeys to space now, now has a total of 476 days in space.